Fair warning, I have no idea what to call this blaster. Hey guys, what's up, and welcome to my overview of this unnamed blaster. Okay, now to attempt to explain what this blaster is, it started with a reader shell. Uh, that was then chopped up and made into this pistol reader type thing. Uh, I then put in a Busby Extreme Blast Zuka, or XBZ tank, and gave it an absolver. Okay, to go over this blaster from the front, we are going to start with a three-round absolver. You may recognize this from an earlier uh, mod that I did. Well, actually, it was a tutorial, uh, probably at least a year ago, so... Uh, if you recognize that, kudos, but it's been repainted and repurposed. Uh, this is three PETG barrels, so it has a pretty good uh, air fit, as you just saw. Um, this is actually isn't hard mounted to the blaster. Uh, the tank that's internal has a coupler, so it can be pulled off. I also made like a demolisher rocket attachment, but this is the only one I painted. A little further back, we have a polycarbonate spacer from where the gap was from when I originally cut off the front section of the Raider. There's a second polycarbonate piece of it back that covers the magwell area. Uh, I kept the uh, Raider magwell as I could potentially use that in a future mod, and this doesn't use magazines. So there's no point in keeping it there, just for cosmetics. Uh, I made a 6 dart CPVC holder. Uh, I accomplished this by gluing 6 stubs of CPVC together, and then putting it through the belt sander just to give it uh, this nice uniform look. And then I glued it to the blaster, painted it. I also uh, dremeled it out a bit for paint, just to give it a little bit easier of a time, because generally speaking, uh, stock Elite darts have a very uh, tight fit in CPVC and I didn't want that to fit, however, uh, they don't fall out, which is good. Uh, but further back, I was able to keep the stock trigger. Uh, a problem I was having while uh, tinkering with this particular design was the tank would rotate around because of the holding mechanism I made for it. Uh, it's actually rather interesting. The tank is being held in in a replaceable manner. Uh, that is because there is a uh, piece of PVC that I made, uh, where I, it's about three quarters of the PVC in terms of the circumference. So there's a uh, channel cut out of it, and that allowed the tank to snap in and hold in. But the problem that made was that it would rotate, so I made additional uh, pieces in there to stop the tank from rotating. And that lets me keep the stock trigger, which allows the blaster to fire 100% of the time without making a custom trigger setup, which is very nice. It saved me a lot of time. Uh, moving a little further back, we have the uh, clip mount and then the stock uh, extra dart holder in the handle. So overall, this blaster can hold uh, 10 darts, 3 in the absolver, 6 in the holders that are made, and 1 in the handle. Uh, a little bit further back, we have the this uh, extra piece, which has multiple functions. The first one is to protect the pump. And then also there's a little stop in there to stop me from pulling the pump out all the way if I'm in a rush. Uh, unfortunately, you can't attach stocks anymore, even though it has the stock attach point because of the whole PVC thing up here. Um, and then lastly, there's the tactical rail on top, which still has the little pin in there so you can put on the scopes if you so desire. Now for a quick firing demonstration of my Raider pistol shotgun thing. As you can see and probably hear, there, uh, this tank actually has quite a bit of power in it, uh, and it definitely has more than enough power to shoot these three darts at pretty high speeds and get decent range. Uh, the clustering of darts, or grouping rather, of darts is actually pretty tight, so this thing is pretty neat as like an overall pistol shotgun thing. Overall, this was kind of just a fun side project. I really didn't have anything in mind for it. It was just kind of like a spare parts type of blast here. Like I had a random goofy idea and I decided to roll with it. Because most people have a last like ditch effort pistol, but I'm going to have a last, de last effort ditch pistol shotgun thing. I like it a lot. It's pretty fun to use and it's just kind of goofy. Uh, it's not too serious, but it's a lot of fun to use and it's definitely worth the time that I spent making it. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and if you have any names for this particular blaster, please leave them in the comment section down below. 
I was actually thinking about uh, stenciling in a name either here or uh, on this side somewhere with an airbrush, but I, or maybe even on the stock if I did it like in a white, that would look kind of cool. But uh, yeah, so like I said, if you have a name idea, just leave it in the comment section down below.